We now have uh, Nicolas El Gilu. Uh, Nicolas is a lecturer at the University of Melbourne, and I understand that he just arrived yesterday uh, from Melbourne. Uh, he holds a PhD in Syriac studies from the University of Sydney and an MA in world religions. He's a historian of the Middle East, uh, the Islamic world, and obviously of uh, the Syriac world as well. And his paper is uh, entitled Tamar and Sarai, the lesser known Assyrian communities to the east of Lake Lan. Nicholas, please. Yes. Okay. Thank you very much. So, in Turkey today, uh, Assyrian communities have largely come to be associated solely with the provinces of Mardin and Hakkari. Even the idea that there were Assyrians living within the modern-day boundaries of Van province as it is today, uh, prior to their expulsion in 1915, is often dismissed by local scholars as unlikely due to the area's close association with Armenians. Now, Assyrians, however, resided in as many as 18 villages of the Ottoman period Nahiyez of Timar, Archak, and Havatsor, as well as the Khazars of Mahmudiye and Ma'murat al-Hamid. These Assyrians came largely from the Hakkari highlands to the south, migrating in successive waves beginning in the 16th century. Within nearly four centuries of coexistence with local Armenians and Kurds, they managed to develop their own complex social structures, including local chieftains or maliks, uh, as well as ecclesiastical and a, an ecclesiastical presence. Nowadays, the descendants of Assyrians from these districts still identify strongly with the areas formerly inhabited by their ancestors, and they survive in both the Middle East and various diaspora countries. So before I continue, I would like to explain some basic terms to avoid confusion. Firstly, the words Assyrian, Asuri, and Syriac, Suriani, refer to the same people, known to the Armenians as Asurinera. The name Assyrian refers to their ethnicity, whereas Syriac refers to their literary language and Christian heritage. Secondly, Nestorian refers to the Eastern Assyrians who adhered to the Church of the East, Shark Kilisesi, whereas Chaldeans, Keldaniler, refers to those Assyrians who converted from Catholicism and split from the Church of the East beginning in the 16th century. So, many names, but one people. So, the Assyrian link with the Van region goes back to ancient times when the Assyrian Empire bumped heads with the Kingdom of Urartu. The Assyrians are significantly uh, represented in Armenian folklore and particularly in legends strongly linked with their ethnogenesis in the region. It was at Haikabert or Chawushtepe in Hayot Zor, the eponymous Valley of the Armenians, where Assyrian King Belos, son of Nimrod, battled with Armenian King Haik and where he was eventually vanquished. Van itself, according to the 5th century uh, Armenian historian Moses of Horan, was uh, founded by legendary Assyrian queen Shamiram or Semiramis in the 9th century BC. Of course, these are all legends. Uh, for this reason, Ultimate, alternate names for Van uh, in Armenian include Shamiramakert and Shamiramashen. She is also credited with having built an aqueduct and the 80 kilometer long Shamiram Canal. Shamiram Suyu is also named after her. Now, the legend of Shamiram is closely connected to other sites around Van, such as Lesk, Artemet, uh, and Tatvan. Ultimately, the shores of Lake Van were where Shamiran fled on foot after her defeat by her enemies, taking one last drink of water before being killed by her own son. The area around Van also appears to be where the two sons of Assyrian king Sennacherib found refuge in 681 BC after having murdered their father. And the village of Shushans near Van is said to be named after their sister Shushanik. Furthermore, the Armenian kings of the Artsuruni dynasty, which ruled Vasporakan and whose capital was at Van, claimed not only to be of Assyrian origin, but also that they were descended from King Sennacherib through one of these two brothers. Indeed, the last of these kings who lived in the 11th century was named Sennacherib Hovhanes or Sennacherib John. So, during the late antique and early medieval periods, we noticed the development of Assyrian communities in the Van Basin, notably in the towns of Halat, 
Van, and Wasan, or Gevash. Together, these, dis- these three districts were included within the East Assyrian Diocese of Armenia, first mentioned in 424 AD, and whose bishops resided at Halat. A statistical list of the Church of the East, or Nestorian, dioceses, probably authored in the 18th century, mentions that the Diocese of Van was headed by a metropolitan archbishop with two suffragan bishops and comprised of three churches, uh, 30 priests, 70 deacons, and 3,200 families. Its author, however, does not mention when this may have been, and it is possible that it may be referring to the entire diocese of Armenia, including the communities in Akhlat and Vastan. The diocese is last mentioned in 1281 when its bishop attended the consecration of a Catholicos patriarch in Baghdad. The Syriac Orthodox Church uh, also had a diocese of Armenia based in Halat, attested between the 9th and 11th centuries, as well as a diocese in Wastan in the 10th century. Now, the medieval uh, Assyrian presence in the Van Basin appears to have come to an end sometime in the 14th century. It appears, however, that Assyrians began to migrate back to the area in the early 16th century. In a letter from 1562, a Syrian Catholic patriarch, Mar Abdisho Maron, mentions a diocese of Wastan dependent on the metropolitan of Salamas in Persia. In a report by Catholicos Patriarch Mar Ilia VIII from 1607, we find the mention of a metropolitan of Van, while in a second report from 1610, he lists 800 Assyrian fighting men in the district of Khoshab. In 1616, we find the Metropolitan of Van as one of the signatories at the Synod of Diyarbakir convened by Mar Elia VIII. And two decades later, we once again find Khalat Van and Vastan mentioned in a manuscript colophon from 1638 as well as a letter from 1653 where Catholicos Patriarch Mar Shimon Ishoyav claims jurisdiction over the Assyrians in Khoshab, Van, and Vastan. Now that's a lot of information to digest. Ah, anyways, so the majority of the Assyrians that migrated to the Van region came from further south in the Hakkari Highlands. We know, for instance, that the village of Haushesur or Hafshesurk was founded in 1703 by an Assyrian named Murad from the village of Zirini in the Jilo district after first having migrated to the district of Dez. Furthermore, the Assyrians of Satibek were descended from settlers who came from the village of Tchuma Gawaya in 1704. And the Assyrians of Sarai are believed to have originated from the districts of Baz, Tchuma, Tiare, and Gawar. The reasons for this movement included overpopulation, limited natural resources at home, and the relative peace that came to the Van area with the establishment of the Ottoman Authority. Now, the oldest Assyrian manuscript to survive from the Van region was copied in 1683 for a church in the village of Achasim. A later note, however, mentions that the village had been attacked by Kurds and that the poverty-stricken inhabitants were forced to sell the manuscript to pay off their debts since no priests or readers remained and they were unable to maintain their church. By the first half of the 18th century, this manuscript had come into the possession of a church in Iran's Urmia region and it's now in Chicago. Uh, It appears that the Assyrians of Van had strong links to the Assyrians of Iran, since we find a priest and scribe from Timar who had copied five manuscripts in the districts of Salamas and Urmia between 1770 and 1803. Now, for at least a century, the Assyrians of the Van region remained isolated from the center of their community at Kochanes, uh, in Hachari, and rarely had any communication with the Catholicos patriarchs of the Church of the East on account of the distance between them. The villagers were so poor that they were often unable to afford the necessary timber to make even their church walls secure and the roofs of their churches watertight, and of course they were eventually neglected. These people were thus targeted by the Chaldean Catholic Church, which attempted to bring about their complete conversion to Catholicism. In 1902, Pope Leo the Thirteenth uh, entrusted the work of converting the Assyrians from the Church of the East to Patriarch Mar Emmanuel Thomas, bestowing upon him the title Delegate to the Nestorians. That year, he revived the Diocese of Van in order to cover Assyrian converts in the Van and Hakkari regions, and uh, Mar 
Jacob Eugene Manna was consecrated Patriarchal Administrator of the Nestorian Missions and Bishop of Van. During his episcopate, he attempted to undermine the work of Anglican missionaries active in reviving and strengthening the Church of the East in the villages around Van. And by 1913, Mar Jacob had built a kingly palace in Van with a chapel and had established 12 mission stations and four schools served by 10 priests in the villages around the city. Now, at this time, the Chaldean Catholic community in the city of Van numbered about 100 adherents. In, uh, in May 1903, after a visit to Van and its surrounding villages by newly consecrated Catholicos Patriarch Mar Shimon Benyamin, the necessary permits were obtained and the Anglican mission and its deacon school were moved from Urmia to Van, beginning their operations that October, and a chapel was opened the following year. This school was meant to be where the elite of the nation were educated, and among its 20 to 30 students were the sons of priests and maliks, or tribal chieftains, deacons, boys from the patriarch's family, as well as a young bishop. In 1910, the mission's properties in Van, in the Aikestan, or Garden City, were sold, and the school was moved to a village near Ahmadiyya in what is now northern Iraq. Pro uh, notably, the presence of uh, the mission around Van had been important in the revitalization of the Assyrian communities around the city, and a number of churches were thus repaired and furnished, and priests were assigned for the villages, and by 1909-1910, 12 Assyrian schools had been opened. So in the immediate area around Van, there were up to 18 villages inhabited by Assyrians uh, in the 19th and early 20th centuries. And as many as 7,000 Assyrians were living in the districts to the east uh, of Lake Van on the eve of the First World War. Most important of these was the sub-district of Timar, the center of which was at the Armenian town of Janik, uh, Assyrians inhabited four of the villages in this district and constituted 2% of the local population. The largest of these villages was Satibek, where there were 105 Assyrian families with a school and two churches. They also had their own Malik, who was in charge of all the Assyrians living in Timar and the surrounding districts. Next largest was Kharashik, in which there were 40 Assyrian families with a school and a church. Uh, there were also... Ten Assyrian families in Pohanis with their own school and church and another 18 in Parkia. Another important group of Assyrian villages lay in the sub-district of Archak, around the lake of the same name, uh, the center of which was the Armenian town of Arjishak. Here, Assyrians comprised 6% of the local population. The largest Assyrian village here was Khnu, uh, which was home to 38 families with four priests, two of whom were Catholic a school and two churches, one of them belonging to the Church of the East and the other Chaldean Catholic. Next largest was Gadalawa, where there were 35 Assyrian families with a school and a church, which was a ziaret or place of sacrifice that attracted Assyrian, Armenian, and Kurdish pilgrims alike. In the village of Armanis, there were uh, 30 Assyrian families with their own church also. Now, two villages in this district, Adiman and Dere, appear to have been abandoned by Assyrians prior to the 20th century, but they still contained Assyrian churches. Assyrians also inhabited two outlying villages, Rashan, now in the Uzalp district, inhabited by 35 Assyrian families with a priest, a school, and a church, and Akhchachai, now in the Muradia district. Now, uh, there were three Assyrian villages in the sub-district of Havatsor or Hayotzor, all of which are now located in the Guzelsu area of present-day Gürpenar district. Here, Assyrians comprised 3% of the local population. Their most important settlement was Haushesur, where there were 30 Assyrian families with two churches. Another 40 Assyrian families resided in Tune. They also had a priest, a school, and two churches. Now, the village of Akhasim, uh, which I mentioned, uh, was abandoned by Assyrians prior to the 20th century, but still contained an Assyrian church. Now, in uh, Ma'murat al-Hamid, or Khoshab, Assyrians inhabited two of the district's 70 villages and comprised 3% of the local population. Uh, both of these villages are now in the Kirkechit area of present-day Gurpanar district. And the most important Assyrian settlement here was Sil, uh, which was home to 50 families with a church and a priest. 
and another four families lived in Kilisa, where there was another church. Now, the next most important district lay to the east of Lake Van, uh, in which Assyrians lived, and that was uh, Mahmudia or Sarai. Here, the Assyrians inhabited two of the district's 91 villages and made, six, made up 6% of the local population. Now, the main town of this district was that of Sarai. Uh, this was the official residence of the Kaimakam and various other um, public services. Beside the Sarai, or the palace of the Kaimakam, which gave its name to the town, the military barracks, barracks, the quarantine and the custom service buildings, the only other public edifice in Sarai was the Assyrian church. Now, uh, this old part of the town, now represented by the Kazam Pasha neighborhood, was home to as many as 150 Assyrian families. Now, also here, the Assyrians had a malik, as well as a priest and a large school. And the only other uh, village inhabited by Assyrians in this district was that of Kharab Sork, where there were 25 uh, families with a school and church. Now, um, I'm just going to talk briefly about the destruction of the Assyrian communities in the Van uh, district. Now, um, at the beginning of July 1914, Sarai was elevated to the rank of a diocese within the Church of the East, and while on an official visit to the Valley of Van, uh, Patriarch Marshamun brought Mar Ilya Abuna with him to be installed as the town's first bishop. Now, the new diocese was, was short-lived. On August the 8th, just over a month after his installation as the Bishop of Sarai, Mar Ilya wrote to the Patriarch that the general mobilization, conscription, and confiscation of goods was taking its toll on his adherents, with the houses of many of them having been completely pillaged. Due to their position on main roads leading to the border with Persia, the Christians of Sarai were strategically important. In the first week of November, the Russian... Um, the Russian offensive began with a quick but short occupation of border towns, including Sarai, but on December 1st, the Russians suddenly evacuated the town and retreated back to Iran, leaving the Assyrians in a panic. The Ottoman army rallied again, and instead of pursuing the enemy, they exterminated the Assyrian and Armenian populations of the district. Um, now, those Assyrians who managed to escape found refuge at Khoi, um, where they took shelter in a German orphanage for Armenian children. Now, the situation lasted only a month. The Russians again pulled their garrisons away from the Persian uh, border on New Year's Day 1915, and the local Christians followed them, fleeing north to Tbilisi, to Tbilisi and other parts of the Russian Empire. Those who remained were accused of collaboration with them by the advancing Ottoman troops and punished as traitors. Now, the, uh, the villages of Timar, on the other hand, were attacked by Chetas or bandits in April 1915, forcing their inhabitants to flee into the surrounding mountains for safety. Uh, these attacks were conducted by Javdat Bey, uh, who, as we know, was the uh, governor of Van. Most of the Assyrians and Armenians who'd villi whose villages had thus been occupied were able to survive by making it to the Armenian enclave in Van, where many of them died from sickness and hunger due to the cramped conditions. There, Aram Manukyan Pasha and 15,000 Armenian fighters were able to hold off Turks and Kurds until May, when the Russian army arrived once more. When the Russians again withdrew two months later, many Assyrians followed them into Persia, and during this time, the Chaldean bishop fled with his adherents to Tbilisi. Uh, in October, following the retreat of the Ottoman army from Van, some of the Assyrian refugees began to return to their villages. These managed to survive until the final collapse of the Russian armies in 1918, when on March 20, they crossed into Persia to join the rest of the Assyrians in Urmia. Now, on 31 July 1918, the Assyrians of Timar and Sarai comprised part of the 90,000-strong refugee column, which was forced to flee from Urmia to Hamadan, eventually ending up at the Bakuba refugee camp in central Iraq. There, each group of Assyrians were segregated from one another, with the Assyrians of Timar, for instance, quartered within their own camp. This system continued when they were relocated and settled in new villages throughout northern Iraq. In August 1933, during the period of the Simel massacre, the Iraqi military burnt down practically all the villages in which these Assyrians had been resettled. From then on, the Assyrians of Timar and Sarai have not maintained any rural settlements in Iraq. A number of them, however, did flee to northeastern Syria.
There, they were settled with other Assyrians on the banks of the Khabur River, where 36 new villages were established. Of these, two were founded by the Assyrians of Sarai and one by those of Timar. In 2015, these villages were attacked by ISIS and their inhabitants were again forced to flee. Additionally, Assyrians originating from the Van region can be found in the former Soviet Union with notable communities in Moscow and Krasnodar, the Kukye neighborhood of Tbilisi, uh, the village of Khanlar, and even in Merv Turkmenistan. I'm almost finished. Uh, the baptismal re registry of Khanlar... Maybe Khanlar, if you could conclude that would be just like with a few sentences. No worries. <laughs> all right. All right. All right. Um, basically... Basically, uh, the Assyrians from Van, Timar, and Sarai can be found across the Assyrian diaspora in North America, Europe, and Oceania, with many of them occupying important positions in the Assyrian community. Indeed, they have not forgotten their roots in that ancient land and have still maintained the names of their original villages as part of their own identity. A number of them even hope to one day visit the villages in which their ancestors once lived, even if it would only just be a visit. And Shnora uh, Galution. Thank you very much.